Hi, I'm Eric Hansen, and I'm a PhD student in quantum information theory. The adjective quantum here just means that we're interested in how information can behave following the rules of quantum mechanics. In other words, our models are formulated with that underlying physical theory. This also means that a lot of questions that have been answered in classical information theory, that is, information theory with an underlying classical physical theory, are unanswered in the quantum world, so there's lots of work to be done. In information theory, we study how information can be communicated and stored. The idea of researching information might sound vague or abstract, but often we work in terms of concrete tasks. We try to precisely define an information theoretic task, something which uses some amount of resources to produce a certain outcome. Then we try to prove a mathematical statement about how it can be accomplished. Maybe we can show a particular strategy can accomplish the task using only such and such amount of resources. Or maybe we can show any strategy needs at least a certain amount of resources. Recently, I've been studying data compression. There, one tries to take the output of a source of information, that is, messages being sent out from the source, and then store it in the smallest space possible, such that we can later decompress it and recover the original information with a low probability of error. So here, the resource we are using up is the amount of storage space we need to store the message, and the task is to compress the messages in such a way that we can successfully decompress later. Often, the bounds we find on what can be achieved with what amount of resources end up in terms of entropic quantities. These are mathematical functions of the original source of information, and there are a lot of them. The prototypical entropic quantity is the Shannon entropy, which shows up in lots of places, and in particular in data compression. There, the Shannon entropy of a source of information governs the limiting rate at which it can be compressed. Each additional message from the source needs additional storage space. How much? The number of additional bits needed per message is the Shannon entropy of the source. Another aspect of information theory research, then, is understanding the mathematical properties of entropic quantities. I've been working on a specific question in this area, continuity bounds. If there are errors in how we modeled the source of information, how much could the true entropy vary from the entropy we find from our model? A continuity bound helps answer this question by finding a mathematical expression for how much the entropy can change between two sources in terms of some measure of difference between the two sources. Then we can bound the errors in the entropy, which gives us this ideal rate of compression, in terms of the errors in the model. I find this kind of project interesting because we can ask these very concrete questions relating to something fundamental. What is the best rate at which one can compress information, no matter how you do it, as long as you obey quantum mechanics? And end up with a purely mathematical question that we can try to attack in lots of different ways. Matrix analysis, probability theory, convex optimization, and so forth. Thanks for listening. Let me leave you with the beautiful Entropy Zoo made by Philip Feist.